Hello, Brian. This is uh, Bill with Rock Band Reviews in Fort Lauderdale. How are you? I'm good, buddy. How you doing, man? Good, good. Is this a good time for you? Absolutely. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, sir, I can. Um, I, only, I only need about five or six minutes, and we'll build a nice article, uh, preview article around it uh, in advance of the Pompano Beach Seafood Festival performance. Alrighty. We, we actually met, uh, I think it was like a year and a half ago, um, backstage when you had done a show with Little River Band at the Magic City Casino in Miami. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, it was, a, it was a while back, but um, anyways, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so um, just wanted to know, um, as a child growing up, did you know that you wanted to be an entertainer, or did you have your sights set on something else for your future? No, I've always wanted to be a singer. I was a bit desperately for the age of three. And uh, luckily, by hook or by crook, I managed to um, persevere with it and, and got through a lot of BS and a lot of rubbish that you have to go through. But um, I was very fortunate. Very fortunate indeed. I'm the luckiest man in the world to be doing what I'm doing at the present. I absolutely agree. Now, growing up, um, who were some of the... Uh the artists that you listen to that may have helped to shape your musical style? No, nobody. I mean, it was like, it's very strange. The people that I like to listen to are not the people that I like to feel have, have styled me. Like, for instance, I'm a huge fan of Cat Stevens. Mm. I'm a huge fan of Jackson Brown. I'm a huge fan of that era, and that, that, that sort of demographic of music you know it's like I'm not really a heavy a heavy rock guy mm -hmm. I don't like the heavy rock um, I like good quality like Bonnie Raitt for instance I like, gotcha. I like good quality music yeah and I'm not sure if I produce that <laughs> now let me ask you your, your voice is uh, also your instrument uh, do you do anything to um to basically manage or take care of it? No, not really. I just kind of sit on. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't do anything out now. I don't do any warm-ups. I don't do all the things that the other psychotic singers do. <laughs> um, you know, I, I just try and... I, I don't drink before a show. I don't, I don't eat before a show. I don't do anything that's going to be silly, so... I don't do cocaine, I don't do drugs, mm -hmm. so my voice stays pretty much in decent shape. Awesome, awesome. Now let me ask you, um, how did you first get the gig with Bad Company? Well, that came about through an old ex-friend of mine, actually, Mick Jones from Florida. He, uh, he put me up for it, he's heard me singing uh, for Ted Nugent, and he's from my hometown okay. in England, called Portsmouth. Uh -huh. And he, he heard me singing for Ted and uh, when Simon mentioned to him that they were looking for a, a new singer he suggested me and we kind of met up in New York and the next thing I knew I was asked to be the singer in, the, in, in this new band this new project now being that there are two uh, bad company bands um, of course yours and, and, and Paul's do you and Paul have like a like a like a riff going, or or are you guys friendly with each other? Or? No, we're not friendly at all. Um, yeah. Actually, there are not too bad companies on the road. Oh no! There's, oh. There's, there's, there's bad company on the road, and there's bad company former singer Brian Howe. Right, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. I, I'm not trying to pretend that I am bad company because I'm certainly not. Right. Um, but my show happens to be a lot better than theirs. I agree, actually, because I've seen Paul's show. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not selective. I do all the songs. I do not let my ego get in the way of producing what the audience wants. And they want to hear all the hits. Right. And uh, the other band, they want to be selective and do only one person's hits, which I think is childish, immature, and ultimately completely stupid. I agree. Something. The sure. Well, just to let you know, I really don't do a lot of research. I would just rather ask you point blank. So, I mean, I could have went on the internet and found out the, the, the answer to the question I just asked you, but I like to just throw it at you, and uh, and that was a great answer, and I'm, I'm great. You, glad that you're straightforward with it, you know? Well, 
Now, now let me a- now let me ask you. Um, uh, what's coming up for you uh, in the future? Are you gonna record a new album, writing any songs or anything? Yeah, I'm halfway through a new album. Um, I'm taking a, a brief hiatus because I'm changing producers halfway through. I want it to be a bit rockier than it was turning out. Okay. So, to uh, to my own devices, it'll become like a, um, a softer record than I really wanted it to be. So. I have to cut it out, and I'm going to be re-recording a lot of the stuff um, to get that aspect of, of, of the song over. Um, I'm also going to write next week, funnily enough, I met up with a guy today called Henry Gross, who mm-hmm. wrote one of the most beautiful songs ever written, um, a, a song for the, for the 70s called Shannon. Okay. So all, about a, all about a dog, it's the most beautiful song. And if you're an animal lover, which I am... I am too. That song is a tearjerker. I heard it again tonight, and it still brings tears to my eyes. Just the most beautiful, beautiful song. And I'm going to have the privilege of sitting down with Henry next week, and we're going to try to write a couple of songs together. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Wonderful. Now, you live here in Florida, correct? I do. I live on Fort Myers Beach. Nice. So... This might be a dumb question because I live here in Fort Lauderdale and I've lived in California. What is it about Fort Myers, where you live, that that makes it worthwhile living here in Florida? Well, it's ten times better than Miami. It's, it's not as crazy as Miami. It's not as you know dangerous. Uh, as I dare say. Uh, and I don't like big cities. I don't like to live in a big city. I like small villages, if you like. And this is like a little village. This is my island. It's five miles long. Wow. Um, during the summer, you know, the population goes down to like me and a couple of dogs. <laughs> it's just like Billy. It's, 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 it's tough. It's, it's hell during season, I have to say. You know, with one road on the island, one road off. Mm-hmm. Um, but once all the snowbirds disappear, it's idyllic here on the island. Wonderful, and it's such a big tra- change from uh, from dr- dreary England, huh? A huge change. <laughs> I think that was the main the requisite for me when I left England. That I didn't want to see too much rain. Um, and although the first rain in Florida, as you can all be predicted, and work around it, so it's, it's just cool to be living in here. To, to, to be in the states is great, but to be in Florida, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I may be in Fort uh, Fort Myers uh, real soon. If I do, I'll hit you up, and I'd love to take you out to dinner. You got it, man. No problem. Awesome. I want to thank you so much for your time uh, this afternoon for doing an interview. The moment it uh, posts on our website, I'll send it to Chloe, and hopefully she can uh, forward it to you. As a matter of fact, uh, I could just text the link to you, and uh, you can check it out. And uh, we'll yeah. see you at the Pompano Beach Seafood Festival in a couple of weeks. We're actually going to get with... Um, Mike Reno uh, this week as well, and do an interview uh, with him as well, because I know he's on the same lineup uh, as you guys. He is a Mike's good friend of mine, so tell him that, uh, oh, what message can I give to Mike? Um, gosh, I don't know. I've got a lot of jokes I can't really get into, but uh, <laughs> he's a funny, funny, wonderful guy. I love him, I love him to death. I've been on his tour bus uh, a couple of times. He is a fantastic guy, a really good host as well. He really is. He's a nice, nice all-round, all-round guy. Um, and I love that. I can't wait to try and beat him on stage. Oh, that would be great if both of you got up there. Yeah, we'll see. Wonderful. Can we come back and say hi before or after the show? Uh, I don't know what the procedure is for that show. Being a test, I don't have any control over anything. No worries. Um, and as I'm the opening act, you know, I don't have any pull at all. Um, I, I could be able to get you back because he's the headliner and uh, what they say goes. And that's how it works at the festivals. It's the headliner that has total control. Of course. No worries, Brian. I thank you so much for your time and consideration, and we'll see you there. You got it. Thanks, man. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.